Alfie Doughty, welcome to Luton Town. You've signed a permanent deal having left Stoke City. Um, how does it feel to be here? I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I'm very excited. Uh, it's a fresh start and I, I want to uh, get started straight away. Yeah, what, uh, what did the manager say to, to make you feel this was the right place for you to come and play your football? He just showed belief. Belief in me that, um, that I haven't really found in myself recently and I think um, with, him, with him telling what he believes I can do then it was a it was a no-brainer really and I think uh, I'm putting my lot of trust in him. You got the Nathan Jones presentation, <laughs> he, he, he sold you the uh, sold you the move then? Yeah, exactly that, exactly that and I, uh, and I, I can't wait. So if you, you've played in the championship at Charlton, Stoke and Cardiff so you know what the division is all about, you know what you're coming into. Yeah, yeah I know, uh, yeah I played um, Played two years ago and then last year as well, so I think um, I'm ready again and I can't wait for next season. And you played against us for Charlton uh, in your first season, your mm -hmm. through season at, uh, at the Valley, and obviously your last game for Cardiff was against us, but <laughs> unfortunately you got injured. But I suppose because you've been coming up against us over the last few years, Luton's rise is something you, you've kept a close eye on. Yeah, I think uh, over the years, over the years playing them, and um, and I think they're just getting better and better and um, everybody can see that and I think uh, the league knows that as well and that's why that's what kind of promoted me to get, come here as well so um, yeah looking forward. Obviously reaching the playoffs there's a, a huge ambition here now to, to try and go one step further and mm -hmm. you know you that must be an exciting carrot to be dangled in front of you. Exactly I think over the two years like getting top 10 the year before and then last year top six it was like you can just tell that the team's just getting better and better and uh, I think uh, that was definitely definitely one of the uh, reasons why I'm here. Your last appearance for Cardiff, as you just said, unfortunately ended in injury, it was against us, but you got a chance there to, it was one of our best away performances of the season, Harry Cornick's goal giving us a 1-0 win, so did, did watching that game help convince you when, when Nathan came calling convince yeah. you that this was the right place? Yeah, I think, but I think throughout the whole season it was it was easy to uh, easy to watch, and I think especially that game as well. You could see how much it means to everybody. Like I think, remember we had one player that was carrying a really bad injury, and he still carried on. So I think uh, overall, I think just the momentum of this team is is top, top class. And, and your injury, obviously you didn't play again after that, but you've been doing rehab and, and you're fighting fit, ready to ready and ready to go. Yeah, I'm back now, back now, fully fit, and uh, yeah, just want the preseason to start, and uh, and I'm looking forward to it. So if you played at Kenilworth Road before mm -hmm. uh, as an opposition player, yeah. what's what's that like? Well, because the because the because uh, the pitch is quite close to the uh, fans, you get a lot. But um, I'm hoping it's going to be a lot easier now that I'm on the home side. But yeah, it was uh, it was enjoyable. You're looking forward to, as you say, having those fans singing your name and, and yeah. getting behind you. Yeah, we better this time. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, a lot of the fans that, that have seen you against us maybe not pay too much attention because you focus on your own team, but. Mm. Can you explain to the supporters what player they're getting in the orange shirt? Just someone who just believes just going forward is the only option really. I think uh, my speed and my attacking approach is just going to just let people know that I'm, I'm quick and, I, and I, I get forward all the time and, and I think that's just the one thing that's good about me that I can always, always accept to go forward. And, and you're still young, you're 22, uh, you've got over 50 championship appearances and, and a couple of goals. Mm -hmm. Probably want to add a few more to your game? Oh, absolutely. You always set goals at the start of the season and uh, definitely scoring is one of them. I'm sure you'll have plenty of options, there's plenty of attacking players and, and when you look at the, the lads that are here uh, on the squad list, Harry Corney, Elijah Adebayo, mm -hmm. uh, Eddie Cameron, Jerome, people like that, that must have wet the appetite. Oh, 100% I think, when you, you know you can put a ball in the box and at least one of them is going to be there, so uh, it's going to be enjoyable. And we've mentioned players that are already here. And we always ask, do you know anybody <laughs> who's coming in? Tom Lockyer is a former teammate, so yeah. he'll be one. Yeah, no, yeah, he, uh, I remember him at Charlton, uh, character, and um, I'm looking forward to playing with him again. Have you picked it, Lock's brain? Have you, you spoken to him at all about N it? Nah, nothing yet. I think I'll just wait until I, uh, wait until I see him to talk about it. I'm sure he'll have a warm welcome for you. As on, always. <laughs> on Friday. Well, you've, got, you've got a couple of days now, you can do a bit of work, strength and conditioning. Yep. But you're looking forward to being back in, meeting all the boys and, and being welcomed into the squad all yeah. returns on Friday. Okay. Yeah, back in back in the team and uh, Friday's first day for everybody, so um, can't wait to meet everybody.